Okay, I'm still at home. I get to go out today. Uh, hopefully my windshield will be fixed today. So I wanted to finish up the book of Ephesians. Again, Ephesians is a uh, prison epistle. Paul was in prison when he wrote this. And what a wonderful book. Uh, some of his best writings probably were uh, from prison. So, uh, chapter 6 and verse 1. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise. Uh Exodus, if you wanted to look at it, I got it open here. I'll go ahead and read it. Uh, Exodus chapter 20, verse 12 says, Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. So honoring your mother and father can add to your longevity, uh, evidently. Uh, verse 3, that it may be well with thee and thou mayest live long on the earth now <clears throat> he's just putting he's confirming from the old testament bringing this uh into the new testament so you honor your mother and father that your days will be long on the earth and ye fathers provoke uh, not your children to wrath but bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the lord now, that's pretty much self-explanatory. I would that my children would be brought up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. We need to teach them. And he's talking to fathers. Usually it's the mother that does all that work. But uh, I think us fathers kind of fall short in that area. Uh, we're responsible for our families. Servants, be obedient to them that are your masters according to the flesh with fear and trembling and singleness of your heart as unto Christ. Not with eye service as men pleasers, but as the servants of Christ doing the will of God from the heart. A lot of people, uh, they get all shined up and go to church on Sunday, but that ain't what they're like on Tuesday night. You know what I mean? Uh, and you gotta, you gotta serve God from the heart. Uh, he sees all things. All things will be brought into remembrance. Um, when you're not away, when you're away from everybody, uh, and nobody's watching, that's the true you. So keep that in mind, I would say. With good, uh, will doing service as to the Lord and not to men. We are serving God, not men. Don't be a man pleaser. Don't try to please other people uh, in the Lord. Please the Lord and uh, all that stuff will be added unto you. Knowing that whatsoever good thing any man doeth, the same shall he receive of the Lord, whether he be bond or free. And ye masters do the same things unto them, forbearing, threatening, knowing that your master also is in heaven, neither is there a uh, respect of persons with him. Uh, there were slaves. Uh, there still are. There always have been. And he's talking to the uh, servant and to the master. And uh, God has no respect. The servant, the slave, is just as important to the Lord Jesus Christ as the master it has, he has no respect for persons uh, just because you are in charge of somebody uh, does not give you the right to mistreat them verse 10 finally my brethren be strong in the lord and in the power of his might amen be strong in the lord and the power and in the power of his might we're getting into the soldier part here uh, we're putting on, we're uh, 
coming to the spiritual warfare of the believer right here. He said, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. The Lord uh, gives you strength. It's not anything that we do. We get that by prayer and reading his book. Verse 11, very familiar scripture, very important scripture. Uh, this is to the soldier of the Lord Jesus Christ. And if you are a born-again Christian, you are a soldier in the army, whether you want to be or not. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual weaknesses, wicked, wicked wickedness in high places oh somebody fell down out there oh so we're in a battle folks and we're not fly, fighting against flesh and blood we're fighting against devils and demons and uh, powers of darkness and principalities of the air these are all around us at all time and that's who we're wrestling against that's who our battle is for and the reason uh, when you go into this battle, there is but one way to come out victorious, and that is put on the whole armor of God. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Stand, therefore. Notice how many times he says stand in those verses. Get up. Get in a battle. Gird your loins up like a man, the Bible says. <clears throat> Stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth and having the breastplate of righteousness. Uh, these are This is the armor, the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Your feet are shod with the gospel of peace because you're supposed to be going somewhere, somewhere. Jesus said, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel. Uh, we're supposed to be moving. Uh, above all, it says, taking the shield of faith wherewith ye shall be able to quench all, notice that word, all the fiery darts of the wicked. Your shield is your faith. Uh, everybody's measured a little bit of faith, but the greater your faith, the bigger that shield. And that's how you uh, stop the fiery dart, darts of the wicked because uh, he's shooting those darts at you the whole time and he's trying to bring down that, faith, that shield of faith. The shield of faith is uh, the most important thing is what Paul's saying. Is above all, take on the shield of faith. We must believe in what we're talking about. And take the helmet of salvation. The helmet of salvation, that's your, you're born again. You put that helmet on, you know your knowledge. It's up there with your brain. You know that you're saved. You're washed in the blood. You have the helmet of salvation. And the word, uh, and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, uh, let's see Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 12 for the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two edged sword piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart that word of God will very powerful. It is your only offensive weapon. Jesus used the word of God when Satan, when he was brought into the wilderness and Satan tempted him for 40 days, Jesus said, hath not God said, or it is written, it is written, it is written, is what he said. Uh, and quoting scripture, so the sword of the Spirit is our offensive weapon, and it is the Word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, 
and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints, praying always. I always tell y'all to pray without ceasing. That's First uh, Thessalonians five seventeen. Always be in a prayerful mind. Uh, now we're going to get into his uh, his farewell, I guess. And for me, the utterance may be given unto me that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. He's in bonds. Uh, he's in prison. And yet he can speak boldly about the mystery of the gospel. The gospel, of course, is 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 15, 1 through 4. The death, burial, and the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ is the good news. Uh, for which I am an ambassador in bonds, and therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. Man, what else are they going to do, he says. <laughs> uh, he's an ambassador in bonds. He was uh, A lot of people would look up to him because of his bonds. The Lord can use your situation in any way. Even if it's a bad situation, you can be a good testimony for the Lord. But that ye also may know my affairs and my and how I do. I'm going to mess this up. Tychicus, a beloved brother and faithful minister in the Lord, shall make known to you all things. That's in uh, Acts chapter 20. Verse 4, it mentions him. He went to him, I believe, to Greece uh, or Troyes or somewhere on his mission. You can look it up for yourself. Whom I have sent unto you for the same purpose that ye might know our affairs and that he might comfort your hearts. Peace be to the brethren and love with faith from the God and Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, grace, he always leaves them with grace, be with all them that love our Lord Jesus Christ in sincerity. And then at the bottom there it says, to the Ephesians written from Rome by that guy. <laughs> I don't want to know his name. So he wrote it, and I imagine he's the one that took it to him. All right, chapter 6 of Ephesians, uh, just the armor of God part. Uh, there have been multitudes of studies and uh, sermons on. So I'm just doing a survey, but you can really get in depth, and I would encourage you to do so. Uh, there's a lot of great preachers and teachers that have done wonderful job, wrote great uh, three, 400-page books on just this. Uh, section of the scripture so that's chapter 6 and that is the book of Ephesians I appreciate all you that uh, uh, go through these with me again my uh, intent is not to teach you everything in this I don't know that I could I don't know that I understand it all myself my intent is to uh, share with you my love of the word of God and hopefully uh help you to in your studies and to get deeper and deeper in God's word. This God, uh, I mean, this word, uh, just every time I read it, I get something new. But that's the book of Ephesians, and uh, that was the first of the, uh, of what they call the prison epistles. And now we'll go into... Uh, Philippians, and it is also a prison epistle. So we'll get started on that uh, sometime in the near future. God bless you, folks. Read these Bibles. I sure hope, uh, if nothing else, my little surveys make you want to really dive into the book. Um, and pray without ceasing. Pray for me again. Uh, I did a video on Let Us Pray, and I've had a great response uh, on it, and there is a lot of prayer requests on that. So I would, uh, for my faithful few especially, if you would uh, like or uh, put it in a playlist or something, 
and uh, that way you can just go to that video and look in the comment section you don't have to rewatch the video just uh, go to the comment section and then you can just go down the list and pray for all these people please pray for them all right, God, I love you, and God loves you, and uh, may you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Time to go back to work.